subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the early notification of my latest video. Hello and welcome. In today's video, we will know more about wireless microphone and also know which one is most suitable as per our requirement. Many of you may have used microphone for sound recording, either for entertainment or professional work. A wireless microphone or cordless microphone is without physical cable or wire connecting it directly to the sound recording or amplifying equipment with which it is associated. A wireless microphone system consists of three discrete components, a microphone, a transmitter and a receiver. You can see how these components look like. This is handheld microphone with transmitter. Transmitter is always powered by battery. That is inside the microphone capsule. And this is how it looks from inside. All microphones turn the sound energy into electrical energy. They are of different kinds and work in slightly different ways. Most commonly found are dynamic microphones, condenser microphones and ribbon microphones. Microphone consists of diaphragm which is the key component in the modern microphone. Sound waves entering that microphone meet the diaphragm and cause the diaphragm to vibrate. Wireless microphone system transmitters come in three general types. These are handheld, plug-in and belt pack. As you have already seen one handheld microphone system with transmitter inside. The second is plug-in transmitter which are standalone transmitter boxes that are easily connected to the microphone and turn the regular microphone into wireless microphone. Some of these provide phantom power and are compatible with active microphones. Phantom power is a DC direct current given to the microphones requiring electric power to drive active circuitry. Third is belt or body pack wireless transmitter. It also runs on battery like other transmitters. These transmitters can be attached to the belt, waistband or guitar strap with clip for hand stream mobility. This transmitter is ideal for wireless vocals, presentations, music avenues and can be used by the performers on stage, which is mostly clipped to the user's belt or is concealed under the clothes. And this body pack is connected by wire to a lavalier microphone or lav that is clipped to the user's lapel or collar. This is the receiver unit. There are different types of receiver units which come along with wireless mic depending upon the type of mic wireless system. Wireless microphone receivers effectively receive the radio frequency of the microphone transmitter and convert it back to the audio signal by extracting ones and zeros of the digital signal. Wireless microphones use FM that is frequency modulation and roughly needs 200 kHz bandwidth. Wireless frequency bands typically used for sending wireless microphone signals are VHF very high frequency, UHF ultra high frequency. VHF is one single frequency and is easy to set up, but is difficult to use if there is nearby RF interference at the set frequency. New wireless microphones often operate at UHF. The frequencies operated in the range of 300 MHz to 3 GHz is not completely available. This regulated range is also known as television band, which is different for both US and Europe. In order for wireless system to work correctly, the receiver must be set to receive the same radio frequency matching with the transmitter. These frequency values are typically set in VHF systems so that one transmitter works with its coinciding receiver. Whereas in UHF systems, these frequencies are usually variable and it is up to us to ensure the transmitter frequency matches the receiver's frequency. These wireless systems come in three main types. These have to do with how the receiver receives the transmitted radio signal. They are non-diversity, diversity and true diversity. Non-diversity system receivers have one antenna to receive the signal from the transmitter. These type of receivers are rarely found in the market today. Diversity system receivers have two antennas spaced at a short distance apart. Both of these are connected to a single receiver. The wireless connection only happens between one transmitter antenna at the MIC end and the one receiver antenna which is at the receiver's end. If the signal strength drops below an acceptable level on one antenna connection, the receiver will switch to the other antenna. This switch is done blindly, so oftentimes it may improve the bad signal connection or sometimes it makes bad connection worse. Two diversity system receivers utilize two separate antennas. Each of these are connected to a separate receiver module. The receiver circuitry reads both the antenna signals and selects the better one of the two. Hope you found this video helpful. Then do share, like and subscribe.